everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we will be talking about this fragrance here, which is the Clean Reserve Rain Reserve Blend Fragrance. So this is an EDP version and it always says on these labels what family that the fragrance is in basically. So they describe this one as a watery musk. This one for reference is a 100ml bottle and retails for around the $90 mark. However, with fragrances, I will say this in pretty much all of my videos, to shop around if you are purchasing a new fragrance because the prices range dramatically sometimes. So definitely, you know, shop around first. The bottle, I really like this. I think it goes so well with the aesthetic of the actual brand. It is super clean, it's super minimal, and it's just really, really nice. It's one of those fragrances where, like, you could display and it just looks really, really nice. I want to stop saying super. In one of my recent videos, I said super a lot and someone commented and they just had like super written so many times. So I'm going to try and not say that. Um, now getting into the notes to help you understand what this does smell like. Um, so we have not many actually. Top notes are bergamot, middle notes are white flowers and base notes are patchouli. How this is described, I always get these like a fragrantica, I hope that's how you say it. Um, just again to help you understand. So main accords, white floral, it's citrus, patchouli, woody, fresh, spicy, warm, spicy, earthy, and aromatic scent. So automizer, I do have I think another two fragrances from Clean Reserve. It's a super fine mist that doesn't go very far. This definitely is a very clean scent. Um, like the florals come through, but it also smells like rainwater in a way. What are the notes again? There was like three notes and I can't even think of what they are. What were they? White flowers, patchouli, bergamot. I can't smell the bergamot. It must be so minimal. White flowers would be exactly to a T what I feel like this smells like. Watery white flowers. Um, this is not a smell that I would personally wear. This is definitely not a smell that I would want my husband to wear. I don't know, maybe like a really older lady I think this would probably go best with however I don't know this one's actually quite tough this is not something that I would buy someone else either because it's super niche it's very I don't know if that's the right word it's just not a safe fragrance at all in my opinion I would probably use this as a house fragrance more than anything. Um, yeah, I would not wear this and I definitely would not really recommend this to anyone that I know in my life. But let me know, do you have this? Have you smelt this? Let me know your thoughts. Let me know where you think that this fragrance would work best, what environment, what like age category because it's kind of throwing me a little bit. It's nice, but it's not, it's also not great. It's just so different to anything that I have in my collection. So yeah, I think that's why I'm just not really sure what to say or do about this, which I understand is not really that helpful for you guys. Um, but yeah, just not a big fan of this. But again, let me know your thoughts. I would love to hear from you. I hope you found this helpful in some way. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. As always, I will see you in my next video very soon. Thanks again. Bye.